Getting your hands on thousands of gems in Raid Shadow Legends is exceptionally, exceptionally easy. Way, way easier than you thought. And after doing some homework on this topic, dude, farming like 2,000 gems a month, even if your account is just a few months in, is very, very achievable. Up to like 3,000 gems a month if your account is more developed. So what is up, guys? This is Cobb. And let's do this, man. Let's cover all of the ways that you can grind out gems in Raid Shadow Legends. And it might be a little bit easier than you think. Then we're going to cover some totals of amounts of gems that your account can probably farm towards the end of the video. So first of all, it's got to be said that if you're in the first month of your account, getting enough gems to do things like fully upgrade the gem mine, um, buy some masteries on some of your channels, is pretty achievable, pretty easy to do because you get so many gems for free when you are first starting out the game. We're talking like in the first 30 days, you can probably farm like 2,000 gems or something just from free gem rewards uh, alone. These are the likes of the gems that you get from progression rewards for just leveling up your account. I've already found like what? There's like 170 gems from these already. My account is 40 days old, uh, just for some context. Um, you're going to get a lot, I think it's almost a thousand gems for getting three stars on every one of your campaign stages um, and just unlocking gems along the rewards track uh, along the bottom of the screen just here and these go up as well based on difficulty so you get a crap load of gems from these and of course as well your Arbiter missions are going to get you a crap load of gems as well. It doesn't seem like many uh, to begin with but you get a big milestone reward of 300 gems after 76 missions which very very doable as well in your first 30 days and the amount of gems that you get from these missions drastically increases towards the end of the rewards track in fact i'm pretty sure that you get like over 2000 gems total from just the arbiter missions rewards track uh like before all is said and done you know it's crazy as hell how many gems that you can pick up from this you get so so much free stuff man when you're first starting out in raid getting off your uh getting your account off rather to just an incredible incredible start in the beginning has never been easier Partially thanks to our incredible beginner promo link, which is down below, man. So if you want to go ahead and start off a new alt raid account yourself, take on a new free-to-play challenge like I'm doing right now on my second account, then that beginner promo link is the way to do it. Go ahead, hit that link, and sign up to raid to get yourself four free Epic Champions on your new account, man. Just make sure that you sign out of Plarium Play on your PC before clicking on that link so that when you create a new account, so if you guarantee you get your hands on all of these insane epics, right? We're talking Ugo, S tier champ, Fane, God, Romero, well, he's there, and then Vegas, <laughs> able to solo all kinds of Doom Tower bosses. An incredible, incredible way to start off your new raid account, man. So that is all of the gems that you can grab very, very early on in your account. But how many can you grind every single month, month in, month out? Dude, we're going to be covering clan boss gems. We're going to be covering arena chest gems. We're going to be covering the lot and giving kind of averages of how many you can expect to earn over 30 days. Starting off with the most simple ways, man, the gem mine. Recommend highly that you spend all of your starter gems and just fully maxing out the gem mine, even before you buy champion masteries, because to be honest, you can do all of these things anyway within like two or three weeks of starting your account it's very very easy to get them all done and so the gem mine is going to give you 15 gems per day over the course of one month 450 gems so 450 gems is the first batch that you can earn very very consistently and easily over the course of a month next up next most simple way is of course going to be the 10 gems that you get from completing all of your daily quests which you should be doing day in day out anyway right over the course of a month that is of course 300 more gems that we can add on into the total we then also have the monthly quest which i've actually done already which is a quest to upgrade a champion to a rank five. Uh, I believe this quest is going to show up every single month and that quest will award you with an extra 100 gems. And so the numbers are already starting to stack up quite a bit, man. I don't know what the total is right now because frankly, I'm not keeping track in my head as we go here. We'll do that at the end of the video. But um, yeah, you can see that just from doing the very, very basic stuff, you can be farming a very, very solid amount of gems every day already. Then I think there are three quests in total for advanced quests that can give you five gems, but they don't always show up right? I'm, I'm pretty sure two of them show up most weeks. And so we're just going to go ahead and say that the average for advanced quests is also going to be 10 gems a day, or rather another uh, 300 gems 
throughout the month, right? And so those are all of like the very, very sort of most basic ways that you can get your hands on gems, except for the way that most people I think underestimate, right? Which is going to be the gems that you get from your daily login rewards. These are kind of tough to average out uh, over time, but they do eventually sort of average out, right? So it's 150 gems here in the first month. I think they're quite slow in the first month, actually. Oh, this is the second month. Uh, first month is actually only 100 gems. Then you've got like 200 gems here. Then you get another 100 gems here. or oh, 200 gems here, actually. But things eventually are going to kind of steady out at the repeated rewards, right? Where you're getting a batch of 200 gems every single month. And so for the daily login rewards, for simply logging into the game, we're going to go ahead and call this at an extra 200 gems per month on average over time. You know, a little bit of variance with these, but that's okay, man. With all of this very, very basic stuff just covered already, that's like 1,300 gems per month, slightly over 1,300 gems per month, actually, that you're already getting from just doing dailies and logging into the game, okay? So it's a stupendous amount of gems that you're getting for free just from doing that. Now, next batch of gems that you're gonna be getting is roughly 100 um, per month from the weekly arena chests. Now, this is based on the idea that you're probably in gold rank. Usually once you're like, uh, a certain amount of months into the game, let's say like somewhere between like three and six months into the game, you're going to come to a point where you enter into gold rank. And to be honest, most players are going to be camped out in gold rank for most of their time in uh, Raid Shadow Legends, right? As long as you're active in the game and you've been playing for a good few months, you're probably going to end up either in low gold or mid gold, right? And so, yeah, if you're camped out around here, gems are one of the drops that are going to come, uh, going to come out of these weekly chests. And I'm going to go ahead and estimate that you get 100 per month from these chests because they're not 100% drop chance. They drop very, very commonly. And when they do drop in gold rank, you get between 45 and 70 gems uh, in total. And so there's a little bit of variance there as well. So I'm just going to assume that they drop about half of the time and give you like an average amount of gems, like taking high rolls out of the equation, you know. So we might be actually, we might actually be slightly lowballing this estimation a little bit, but we'll leave it at 100. Next up, next kind of easiest way, working our way up in difficulty here a little bit as to how you're going to get your hands on these gems is we're going to go ahead and cover the Doom Tower rotations, which Oh god, don't judge me, okay? But I can't even get to the first boss yet on my free-to-play account. I'm 40 days in, okay? We're just stuck on the waves. Just is what it is, man. My Nalhorn just keeps dying, man. He can't... He, he's just not the most effective at existing right now as my AoE provoker, but there you go. Anyways, man, you get gems from these Doom Tower stages. Now, the amount of gems that you get is different based on the current rotation of Doom Tower, so there's a little bit of variance here as well. But over the course of all three Doom Tower rotations, right, there are three in total, the average amount of gems that you get, the mean amount of gems that you get uh, per month is gonna be 260 for clearing Doom Tower normal. Okay, so you do have to like basically clear the full thing to be grabbing the more like advanced gem rooms up here towards the top. Uh, of the Doom Tower, and so this is bearing in mind that you're probably clearing normal mode Doom Tower, which is not going to be possible for everybody, and as we get further into the video, we're going to be covering slightly more difficult ways uh, to get your hands on gems, of course, but I'd consider clearing normal Doom Tower something that's probably doable for most people within like their first like eight months, nine months maybe, uh, of raid. Should certainly be doable if you're playing like quite actively. I feel, and as long as you're like doing your homework on what kind of champs you need to build to take on each normal mode boss uh, and stuff like that. There's gonna be times where you get stuck, of course, but 260 gems per month being the average for normal Doom Tower. Now, while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to hard mode Doom Tower as well. And we are gonna cover this, but we're gonna have two totals of gems uh, at the end of this video. One of them that's like quite accessible, and one of them that's for like more late game players that are actually actively clearing hard mode Doom Tower and the harder stages of uh, clan boss and all of that kind of stuff, and are really doing everything. But hard mode Doom Tower will bag you an extra full 186 gems on average, again, there's a little bit of a differentiation because all of the rotations give a different amount of gems all over again. Uh, but yeah, uh, 486 will be the average amount of gems that you're farming from Hardmore Doom Tower, full clear, 
uh, over the course of a few months. And the final huge batch of gems that you're going to be getting is going to be from Demon Lord Clan Boss. And by the way, by all means, if you feel like I'm missing any ways to get your hands on gems, um, make sure to go ahead and pop them down below in the comments as well. I might have miscalculated some things and forgotten some areas of the game where you can pick up some extra gem action, but Demon Lord is by far going to be one of your biggest contributors to just all resources across your account. Uh, oh god, look at my little free-to-play damage over here, man. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we're just getting started on this account, okay? Still early days, right? But okay, so Demon Lord Clan Boss, it's a huge, huge kind of like variance uh, in gems that you can get your hands on depending on whether or not you are clearing Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare or whether you're really still in the phase of your account where you're hitting like uh, mostly like brutal and hard uh, Demon Lord Clan Boss, right? There's like a hell of a lot of variance there, man. So we'll cover a couple of totals for these. Now, I would say that if you're able to hit brutal uh, Clan Boss, which most people are going to be able to do within like, I don't know, Anywhere from, you know, like three three to five months into their account or something, you're probably able to start uh, hitting and hopefully one keying even against uh, Brutal Clan Boss. Depends how lucky you've been with your pulls, I guess, you know. Um, there's going to be a lot of variance there. But if you're hitting Brutal Clan Boss, the amount of gems you're going to be getting on average per month, I'm assuming that you're hitting like Brutal, Hard and Normal uh, in this way. You're going to be averaging about 225 gems from Clan Boss per month if you were hitting like these three stages and you're in like the very very mid tier of demon lord clan boss however if you are uh one keying brutal nightmare and ultra nightmare which i'm doing on my main and sometimes i even hit hard as well uh because i've got my infinity wixwell clan boss team set up and so i'm able to one key all of these very very easily then you're looking at from just brutal plus 665 gems on average per month now, there's going to be a lot of variation here, right? Clan boss chests are kind of all over the place. Kind of interesting to note is that easy clan boss, even if, even in its highest level chest, it doesn't drop any gems at all. But the numbers are as follows, and these are quite important to know, I think, uh, or like pretty interesting to take note of. So if you're hitting normal clan boss and you're, um, we're going to assume that you're not just doing the damage required, but you're also killing the clan boss. So you're getting two chests uh, of the highest difficulty. But from normal clan boss, you're looking at about... 30 gems per month because while it says five to ten gems here they don't always drop they actually only have like a seven percent drop chance or something it's it's something very very low anyway i can't remember off the top of my head but it's super super low i did the math it's about 30 gems per month uh from normal from hard clan boss you're looking at 90 gems per month from brutal 135 from nightmare 180 and then 350 from ultra nightmare ultra nightmare rewards are just ridiculous. They're so good, man. They're so good. And it's not just because more gems are dropping, but you have literally like it, it's a very it's a more than 50% chance or something of uh gems dropping. Like it's a crazy, crazy high chance for the gems to drop from Ultra Nightmare, basically, you know. So that's your climb boss rewards. Let's do some totals, man. And so, the totals for your gems that you can earn per month. Let's start off with the budget gems, right? This is going to assume that you're clearing normal mode Doom Tower and that you're killing at least brutal uh, Demon Lord Clan Boss, right? So, you're basically probably like four to six months into your account um, and you're at a place where, yeah, you're still pushing into harder content in the game. You're looking at 1,935 gems farmable in total without really putting a whole lot of effort in to be honest from just doing stuff that you're going to do in the game anyway from making sure that you keep up with your dailies and stuff like that nearly 2,000 gems a month from really not advancing that much into the game at least I feel you know you're just playing the video game which is pretty impressive I think that's much much more than people think and then you've also got to consider that you're getting gems from things like the occasional events and tournaments um, and stuff like that as well, you know, so there's also gems that we're not accounting for uh, that you can throw into the mix here So it's probably higher than 2,000 gems per month by quite a comfortable margin, you know, so pretty damn decent Now that is gonna go north of 3,000 if you're actually doing everything uh, in the game, right? So this is assuming that you're killing brutal nightmare and ultra nightmare clan boss and you're also clearing hard mode doom tower on the monthly You're looking at 2861 gems per month and again, that's before any tournaments or anything like that. And if you're that far into the game, you're probably doing pretty well in events and tournaments and stuff as well. And so that's probably some extra gems there too. So north of 3,000, pretty comfortably if you are later game 
in Raid. And so there you have it, man. That's all of the ways that you can get your hands on gems in Raid Shadow Legends. And this video is addressed to the person who accused me of buying gems on the free-to-play account. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Like, why why would I... <laughs> why the hell would I cheat myself and annihilate my own credibility and just cheat like a moron in my free-to-play account, dude? Oh, man. It's just, I think, a lot of people... I don't blame... I don't blame the guy who posted the comment, by the way. Uh, it was like a few weeks ago, whatever. But I don't blame the guy because I feel like a lot of people underestimate how many gems you can actually farm per month and just how many free gems you get when you start a new raid account in particular man it's crazy as hell speaking of which man if you're looking to start off a new raid account of your own then make sure you do so by clicking on the beginner promo link which is down below as always in the video description box go ahead hit that link sign up to raid gosh darn it and you'll get yourself four free epic champions man this is the best possible way to start off a new raid account and you should absolutely do it to join me in my free to play adventure and see how you do man with all of the accumulated knowledge that you have in raid over the years see what kind of start you can actually get off to man you might just find it to be uh, a lot more satisfying than you might think. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy this one. And I'm going to catch all of y'all just a tad bit later, man.